Hello, I would just like to share some thoughts of mine about religion. I am a Christian. I believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. And I also believe in the Netta, as they're known in um, one ancient Egyptian language, that is the gods. I know this is not current teaching or understanding of Christianity, but I believe it is a very old understanding that there is more than one way of understanding God. And I believe that the Bible is only being interpreted according to certain traditions that are being handed down without question. And I do deeply believe in the Bible, but I don't hold to every interpretation of every passage um, that is of most of the churches today. And I would like to go back a bit to the time when people followed traditional African religions of varying names and varying, varying traditions, actually. And I believe that the ancient Egyptians did believe in the Creator, they did believe in God, but I believe that they were right to understand that God created the gods. They are created beings like the angels. And it's an understanding that I have arrived at after many years in an independent church where they taught strictly against believing in the gods or in magic. Um, and I left that church in 2004 in the spring. And I've been learning, relearning, unlearning, confirming some things that I've been taught from uh, various churches and learning some ancient memory, I may call it, things that I've learnt or relearned since then. And I think it's um, sad that so many people are afraid of their traditional religious beliefs in Africa, in Britain, in Europe. They think it's all bad. They think it's all pagan and in inverted commas and something that needs to be suppressed, fought against and its followers disbanded, dispersed, despised, <laughs> discriminated against. And that is a very sad state of affairs. I would like to express what I understand for my part, if anyone's interested, that the religious traditions of the world come from an original source, from the all, from the creator. And the creator can be, um, is female and the creator is male. It depends on which religious tradition a person is focused on as to whether they are focused on the great goddess or the God who is God over all. And the Egyptians understood that magic and the gods and the almighty come together. They can come together. You don't have to focus on magic. You don't even have to necessarily focus altogether on the netter, on the gods, but they are real and they belong to him or her depending on which tradition you're following. And I would like to encourage, especially African people, it seems whether there are Egyptian African people or African people from Nigeria or from Tanzania or from anywhere in Africa, in actual fact, that their traditional beliefs are not the evil, terrible uh, beliefs that some would have us believe. They're not there to be uh, despised and ill-spoken of, especially as they have become, over the past millennia or so, so, so weakly understood. And I just wanted to encourage people to take a real look at what your real spiritual traditions are, um, before the advent of the of the churches and I've nothing against the churches I just think that the modern 
uh, preoccupation with if you're a Christian, you cannot believe in uh, the gods. You just have to accept God as taught by the churches. And I, I cannot any longer subscribe to that view or that interpretation of the Bible. And I believe that most uh, Islamic people have the same teaching, that if you're a Muslim, you cannot possibly believe in in the gods either. And I believe that Judaism teaches the same thing. And I think it's come from a real uh, fear that you're going to be ostracized by your church or your temple or your synagogue or your mosque. Uh, community and family, your your personal family, if you should accept that the gods are created by God and that they are uh, holy and only holy because he's created them, raised them up for a particular purpose, which is to advance his kingdom or her kingdom, their kingdom, because they are not in conflict. Goddess and God are not in conflict. That's the modern world of mankind and we are in conflict about all sorts of things when we should be united so i i just really wish to express this i'm not sure how well i've done it but i would just love people to overcome feeling so frightened of and so embarrassed of their um original spiritual traditions in whichever area of Africa or Britain or Europe that you hail from or live in or are interested in. Okay, thank you.